I also this week sat down with Purdue President Meng Chang, who says the school's presence in Indianapolis will extend beyond the downtown Indy campus. As you look at the physical presence of Purdue in Indianapolis, you'll take space on what is now the northeast corner of the IUPUI campus, but you will also have locations throughout Indianapolis, and that's an important part, I think, of the model that you're trying to establish here. Yes, absolutely. So Purdue University in Indianapolis will be operating, yes, uh, out of the five current buildings uh, that science and engineering in what is still now today IUPUI, but furthermore, we have 28 acres to operate on that are lots today and parking garages today. Uh, but even more than that is how we're going to partner with businesses. Uh, throughout the city of Indianapolis, we will be expanding enrollment. We will be creating new companies. We will be connecting talents with industry. And we'll be maximizing the unique strength of Indianapolis, such as sports technology or biomedical solutions. Are there examples, other examples around the country uh, of, of colleges and universities creating urban environments uh, partnerships? Right, you know, there are examples such as Cornell Tech out of Ithaca. They created a campus in Manhattan, but it's not quite the same. Uh, for one, here we're talking about uh, two outstanding universities arise in the city of Indianapolis. And furthermore, uh, this is not just about engineering and technology, computer science. This is about Purdue bringing comprehensively degrees from West Lafayette, all the colleges, departments out of West Lafayette to Indianapolis, including business, digital agriculture, HTM, for example. I know something you're very excited about and have talked a lot about is that 63-mile uh, hard tech corridor stretching yes. from downtown Indianapolis, Purdue and Indianapolis, uh, downtown, through the Leap Innovation District in Lebanon up to yes. the Purdue campus. Well, first of all, as you know, that Governor Holcomb, Secretary Chambers, uh, have done a great job in creating the LEAP district in Lebanon and happens to be the midpoint. you got to trust the Google map on this, you know, 63 miles, 65, depending where exactly is the end point. But yes, that hard tech corridor right here from downtown Indianapolis through Lebanon LEAP district to Discovery Park district in West Lafayette. So Purdue bookending both sides of this corridor and what do you mean by hard tech, right? People ask me. It means where you can touch the technology. What we make, what we grow, what we move. It's about uh, pharmaceutical industry, biomedical industry, transportation, aerospace industry. It's about digital agriculture and semiconductor industry. So that is the heart of the Silicon Heartland here, that we make things, move things, and we grow things. And this hard tech corridor will be economic engine for growing economic vibra uh, uh, prosperity and a vibrant job creating corridor. So it's the corridor for jobs, it's the corridor for innovation, it's the corridor for workforce and talents. Both President Chung and also IU President Witten say there will be significant opportunity for collaboration between the two schools. Again, the new IU and Purdue in Indianapolis begins with the fall semester of next year.